We're honoured that Professor Dawkins has joined us here tonight and I'm equally delighted uh, that we've convinced uh, our moderator to, to fly from Sydney to Brisbane to Melbourne just today. Uh, his voice will be known to most of you. Our moderator is the irrepressible Robin Williams, science journalist and broadcaster and host of, among other things, The Science Show on ABC Radio National. Would you please join me in welcoming Robin Williams. Thank you. Welcome to the greatest show on earth. Well, the book. <laughs> I want to do a thought experiment. Now, I understand that it's slightly spoiled by the fact that you've got numbers for seats down the front. But imagine you're the people at the back as well, uh, up, up, up top, and um, there's something like 2,000 people have randomly walked into seats. And there you are. The odds against your choosing just those very seats are unbelievably huge. And if you did an experiment, and for instance, you came back every half hour, you went out into Swanson Street and came back and randomly chose seats, how long would it take until you actually got precisely that seating that you've got tonight? And you do the experiment every half hour for 100,000 years, 500,000 years, a million years. And as you say in the book, Richard, that's just a short while. Why am I asking you this? Because some of the examples that you give in the book of the way evolution operates, I found really thrilling. Would you tell the story, for instance, of those bacteria and the experiments that went on for 20 years to see whether you had a set of, I think it's 12 lots of bacteria to whom you feed, or not you, but a person doing the experiment, feed glucose to see if you could keep the colonies going and how much they would actually change by mutation. Well, Robin, you're talking about the work of Richard Lenski at Michigan State University, but before I talk about that, I can't let you get away with your randomizing experiment quite as easily as that. I mean, uh, in order to, to, to get exactly the same pattern of seating, everybody sitting in the same seats twice... I mean, not only would it take mi millions of years, it would take millions of years to even write out uh, the number of noughts um, in yeah. the, 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 the odds. I mean, that's not what evolution is about. It's not about long odds of that, of that sort. There may, be, um, there may be isolated incidents in the, in the process, such as perhaps the origin of life, which, I don't think this, but some people might argue, have long odds of that sort. But once the evolutionary process gets going, we don't have to talk about long odds like that. I mean, we've got a, a, a process that actually guides it. That's the point, and so, yes. and so something like making an eye or making a knee joint or something is, if not exactly inevitable, it certainly is, is not um, the kind of thing you'd illustrate by a randomizing experiment like that. You, you might well illustrate the origin of the universe like that. I don't know. Well, well could you illustrate that through the organizing pattern of those very bacteria, which then produce something which has been studied over such a long well, time? Well, okay, let's, let's talk about these bacteria of, of Richard Lenski. The point about bacteria is that, unlike us, who have a sort of generation time of about 25 years, these bacteria, E. coli, have a generation time of, I don't know, about 25 minutes. And so they get an awful lot more evolution in, uh, in, uh, in a human lifetime. So what Lenski did was to set up what I call his 12 tribes of bacteria. He had 12 lineages. Each lineage you could think of as a row of thousands and thousands of flasks filled with glucose and other uh, nutritious substances. And so he inoculated all 12 of the first row of flasks with bacteria drawn from the same population. And then every day he would let these bacteria population grow and they grew exponentially and then flattened off as they reached saturation. And then it started to become competitive in the flask. And then at the same time the next day, he would draw out a little drop of uh, a fixed amount, a, sm a small 